why are there so many Jews in high places? This is a question that gets asked a lot of times in anti-Semitic circles. There's a lot of conspiracy theories attached to it. And there's really a very simple reason that I think is uh, successfully addressed by this clip of Jordan Peterson. Let's take a look and uh, talk about it a little bit. Okay, all right, what the hell? Address the Jewish question. That's a hell of a thing to ask. So that's Jack Lintern, you know? I mean, really, that's a hell of a thing to ask. But I will say something about it, you know? And I've thought about this a lot. So there is evidence that Ashkenazi Jews, so those are Jews of European heritage, have IQs that are about 15 points higher than the population average. So that's a lot, 15 points. It's about the average difference between the typical high school student and the typical state college student. It's a lot. And one of the things that means is, so imagine there's two distributions and that they overlap and that the Jewish one is, uh, is the, the mean is, is 115, so the whole distribution is shifted to the right. What that means is that if you go up into the higher IQ strata, 130, 145, way the hell up there, that Jewish people are overwhelmingly overrepresented at the high end of the IQ distribution. Now, the price they pay for that is some increased propensity for neurological diseases that seems to be associated in some sense with that heightened IQ. Now, you know, the science on this isn't settled, but, but it, it's reasonably solid, you know, given the standards of such things. Okay, so Jews are going to be overrepresented at the high end of cognitively complex disciplines. So then I would say, and that's the case, like they're way overrepresented among like outstanding scientists and among Nobel Prize winners and, and so forth. And so, you know, people look and they think, well, why are there a disproportionate number of Jewish people in positions of authority? And they say, well, it must be a conspiracy. You know, it must be systemic in some sense. It's like, no, it can be simply accounted for by that relatively large IQ differential. Now, the next criticism would be, well, don't the Jews tend to lean left? Well, first you might say, well, you know, given what happened in, in Nazi Germany, to the degree that that was right wing, as we discussed earlier, that's the nationalism and ethnocentrism. It's hardly surprising that they might, you know, in this historical period of time, tend to move towards the left. But more importantly than that, IQ is associated with trait openness. And trait openness is a strong predictor, predictor of political liberalism. So, and it's the strongest predictor of political liberalism. So, you know, it's very difficult. So that's what I have to say about that. It's like, and the other thing I would say is, you know, the fact that there's a population, a subpopulation of people who are much smarter than average, not on average, right? On average, I've, you got to get that straight. On average is actually of great benefit to the rest of us because what do you want, fewer geniuses? fewer people with IQs of 145 or 160 that's and you know and it's no conspiracy that puts people who are smarter higher up in competence hierarchies because IQ is the best predictor of movement up in a complex co competence hierarchy so there I've addressed the Jewish question it's like it's a confusion between ethnicity and and IQ as far as I'm concerned so I'll probably get like painted six different shades of black for that answer but it's I've thought about it a long time. It's the best that I can manage. It does seem to be the case that if you have a segment of the population that tests statistically higher on cognitive ability that has above average IQ, if there is a segment of the population like that, then in the jobs that are uh, the, the doctors, the lawyers, the government officials, uh, uh, media CEOs, that th those those uh, types of professions that are that have that require a higher cognitive ability, you're going to find more people that that are from this group of people. That's just the way that it's going to be. I think that's what Dr. Peterson is is getting at over here. I also think that there's maybe a spiritual element to it in the sense that that God, that the the chosenness of the Jewish people, again that 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 concept of chosenness is oftentimes very um, misunderstood. The concept of chosenness, every human being is chosen by God. God breathed the breath of life into all, every human being. We're all created in the image of God. Uh, the, everyone is chosen for a unique individualized purpose. That's why we were born. That's why we're, that's why we're here. It's the job of the Jewish nation. The Jewish nation was charged with, was chosen for the 
for the task of informing the, the entirety of the world that they are chosen as individuals, right? The Jewish nation as a whole was chosen to teach the entire world as individuals that they are chosen for a mission by God, right? It's a, it's a very special task, task that we all love, but it has nothing to do with thinking of thinking that you're better than anybody. It should never be assumed or, or taken as as such a thing. I also kind of find it interesting, uh, really fascinating actually, this whole conspiratorial aspect of, of Jews in high places must mean that there's some sort of uh, conspiracy behind the curtain thing taking taking place. Where if, if there is a nation that was charged with the mission of of giving wisdom to the world, the, the moral wisdom to the world through the Torah and teaching the world that they are chosen for a purpose. And so it would make sense that they'd be giving the be given the intellectual aptitude in order to be able to do that successfully. It's not a surprise in my mind, spiritually speaking, that if they're spiritually charged with this mission, that they'd be given the corresponding intellectual aptitude in order to, uh, to do it properly. And so there, there may be a conspiracy behind the scenes that facilitates all, but the conspirator is not a bunch of Jews getting together and seeking, secretly uh, figuring out how they're going to take over the world. The conspirator, if you will, of, of giving the extra in, uh, added degree of intelligence and, uh, and then facilitating then that, that these high positions are filled with those that have that higher intelligence, the conspirator is uh, maybe the one upstairs. I always think that uh, neo-Nazis and other anti-Semites sometimes are perhaps most complimentary to the Jewish community in saying that you guys are so successful that the only excuse has to be that there's some sort of conspiracy, right? It couldn't have been that you worked hard, couldn't be that you earned it on your own, couldn't be anything else. It has to be that there's some sort of secret meetings behind the scenes. That's what that's what gives you the success. I'm I, that's in in a, in a certain way. That's 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 kind of complimentary, roundabout, not intended, but complimentary nonetheless. Well, I guess, uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's worth taking it, I, I suppose. In any case, uh, we'd be happy to hear what you think about it. You can leave those, uh, those ideas in the comments below. If you do enjoy this content in general, uh, I, I, I invite you to consider hitting that subscribe button over there in the corner and would love to stay in touch with everyone. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you soon.